You get beaten in this game tonight, and this is a big game and, and a derby game, and you can get beaten, and, you, and the knife's at your throat directly. And so anybody, anybody that thinks there's one hand anywhere, the only one hand should really should be on the hand that is raised to say, I will, I will keep going until the end of the season. And if the supporters can do that, then I'll promise them that the players can do that. But nothing is guaranteed in football. I mean, we've got, we had a, an enormously difficult game tonight. We've got another, another enormously difficult game to, to follow it. So we're just going to keep going, biting off the ga a game at a time. And the second that we start believing our own publicity, then uh, that is when we will not produce football like that and bounce back like Zeka says, then, then we'll start going flat because we'll be anxious and disappointed. Absolutely not. I'm, I'm chuffed and I'm really, I'm really happy about the result. Uh, I'm happy about our situation, but Manchester United have lost big leads and better teams than us have lost big leads, so nothing is taken for granted. Turn on up against Chiefs at half time at, or 2 1, it, it would have been a great result for us. And having to retake a penalty three times, I think it's the first time in my life that I've seen it. I don't know what the reasons were. Uh, I'm not going to question them. The referee was there, I'm not. So it's, you've got to accept it, even though obviously left a lot of uh, doubt in my mind. Absolutely. I mean, if you, you turn on up and you start dictating the game, I think it was 20 minutes to go. Yeah, so obviously when you don't take your, when you don't take your opportunities, in this case the penalty, you was on the back foot. And then uh, obviously Chiefs bounced back very strongly. They thought, well, this is our chance. It's, it's like a boxing match. It wasn't the, the, the killer punch didn't come through. Then they, they thought, well, this is it. We, we're back in the game. I mean, win, lose or draw, this, the, it's not decided. I mean, if we win it, we give ourselves a very good position. If we lose it, we're still top. If we draw it, it's status quo. So anything can happen, and that's, and that's the way you've got to look at it. You've got to go in. If we'd have dropped a point tonight, the way we played, I wouldn't have liked it, but I would have been semi-satisfied. Because if we're playing well, if we'd have, if we'd have, if we'd have got a, a very lucky victory tonight, then for the rest of the season, I'd been worried because I'd been saying, "Ah, oh, we're not in good shape and that we could drop points going forward. But we played, we played a good football. Now that led to a victory. Now that's great because then I believe that if we can reproduce that, we can also get more points. So I don't think that we, we can get ahead of ourselves at all. I think you've got to be constrained fully on your performance. It's a massive yeah. challenge, isn't it? Yeah. Now he's got to come. He's, he's got to come in and play. He gets paid by Kaiser Chiefs, so he's got a chance to earn his money now, hasn't he? <laughs> yeah, big game, big game for him. Just saying, big games are designed for big players. If he thinks he's a big player, he'll come in and put his hat on, he'll put his gloves on, he'll do a job for us. If he wants to go and hide in the cupboard, then we'll get someone else to do it. I don't think he wants. To, I think he'll want to play. Big games are there. I mean, I think he's got to play some time. We can't. We can never decide. You'd love to decide as a coach, but. We can't, you know, he's going to play and he'll get the full support of the staff and the team and we'll try and do the same as we've done with all the other boys that have gone.